All right, so what's up, guys? This is Hayden. Welcome to the podcast. This is episode one. We're going to be talking about everything personal, business, really everything. Just get into the deep details of everything. Like I said, I'm your host. I got my boy Doof here. I got Queso. I mean, really, go ahead. Tell him about yourself. I'm Doof. I'm a manager at Sneakerville. I've been in the shoe game for, I want to say, about six, seven years. And just love it. Love the culture behind it. Love everything about it. I'm Queso. You want to uh, hate and tell me? Uh, I'm from the beach, born and raised. Came up uh, selling shoes, working at the barbershop. Getting in all types of ways, hustling. How the fuck you getting the shoes, dude? I want to know, because I don't really know you, you feel me? Like, I kind of, I don't even know where did we meet at, at first. How did this all start? Oh, yeah. You so, were in the Navy, though. Yeah, I was in the military. I'm from, uh, I'm from California, so. For real? You grew up there? Oh, yeah. Like, you was born and raised California. Born and raised California, and the military brought me out here to Virginia. Oh, I didn't even know that. What the Fresno. Fresno. When I was, when I mean, when I was, when I was in the Navy, at the beginning of the Navy, I used to, you know, take used to sacrifice a lot of stuff you know i used to take uber rides to go to a sneaker shop kind of got around the culture kind of got knowledge in it that's when i met hayden met him when he was young and just since then i just you know been doing it so you graduated high school graduated high California. school had to had to in had cali to. though oh yeah what school you went to went to washington union public school yeah public school I'm not right. so what what, <laughs> what was it like when uh you got the orders to go to virginia this is where you wanted to come or you were like what the fuck what is virginia so i didn't know anything about the military like i did so not know anything i well where i'm from in california there's like a very big military base really big and i was just around it and i didn't know like anything no jobs or anything i was you know living in the back room in my grandparents house and i just i was like you know what i gotta do something so I joined the military, and I mean, it's 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 done a lot for me. I've been, you know, around the world. Um, been right here with you guys. What about you, buddy? So you grew up Virginia Beach. Yeah, I grew up Virginia Beach. Uh, moved to North Carolina for a little bit. That's when like shoes were going crazy. That's when I really figured out like I was like, 18 out there by myself, and I really figured out like how to maneuver by myself in a different area with some shoes, and like got into some shit in Concord and Charlotte. And like it was really coming up off of nothing. It's going out like with some BS I would have out here. But like they really had news, but they had no no market out there. No oh. really. My bad. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Easy to come up. Why did you go out to why'd you go out to North Carolina? You just wanted to get away from Virginia Beach or what? Yeah, I wanted to get up. Like growing here, bro, like you feel suffocated. Like you see everybody, like y'all I don't know, y'all all go like y'all came around here like later. But y'all see like y'all sure. gotta know everybody fast. Like that that comes with some suffocating when you grow up here your whole life. But out there, I didn't know nobody. So I feel like I finally got to know myself and like what I could possibly do on my own. But I went out there for school. And like, so I was in school for a couple of years. You went to college out there or no high yeah, school? Yeah, I went to college out there. What did you, what, uh, like, uh, what, what's that, what did, what did you major in? I was majoring in uh, bio, exercise science. Exercise science. But that's kind of how I got away. I mean, the same thing with you. I was in my hometown. I obviously got away from whatever was going on up there because obviously you want like a, free space or like yeah. free space of mind just not um, anyone you know around you so that was pretty cool but as far as just coming out here bro this shit was it's just cool bro like you said it's get suffocating though because the people around here are kind of like yeah. yeah you know what i'm saying yeah. i don't know it's i don't a, know it's just different it's, it's still virginia type of vibe it's, it's virginia but it's uh, i mean no one wants to work together out here i feel like you yeah feel no, I mean? nobody's like, not like a team effort it's like everybody wants to be a team but everybody wants to be separate and be on top of each other rather than like you know like where i'm from over there it's like everybody want to be on drugs everybody want to get in trouble everybody was in jail like i got people that i used to know go up around there in jail in right now yeah in cali oh yeah but that's all it was was drugs and getting into trouble like that's all it was so you know i came out here got the knowledge in the shoes figured out like this is something i enjoyed like i never had money for this stuff so then when i flipped my first pair of shoes i was like dang i really want to do this like this is <laughs> This is crazy. And then, you know, I saved up money for the car. And, right. and I've just been doing it out of my trunk, doing it out of my workshop, doing it out of everything, you know. But that's that's kind of what brought me here. I love the culture. Do you that's remember the first pair of shoes you flipped or no? Ooh. First pair been, that you sold that been, you came and dropped off to someone. It's been first so time. long. I want to say it was a, dang, it's so long. It's so long. You feel me? Like first pair that you, you know what I'm saying? Oh, wait, let me see. I got a picture of my first pair. I sold it since, I can't lie. Oh, yeah, it's Oreo 4. It's an old one. The first, the first thing I sold 
The first thing I sold actually was not a pair of shoes, but it was in a shoe store. I sold, um, I think it was three box logo stickers. <laughs> and then, but my first pair People of shoes. People really used to sell box logo stickers. Oh yeah, 100%. Like, come up. That's how you can come up, guys. If you didn't know, you can literally sell stickers. Sell stickers. Like there's, stickers. there's a market good collection. So you can get like twenty, forty dollars a pop. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And I think the first pair of shoes I did sell though, like first thing, like shoe that I sold was Beluga 2.0 Yeezy 350s. I sold them for hundred and twenty-five dollars. What were you selling them? Like what type of app you were selling them? Offer up your Instagram. What, what was that? So since I was in a store, since I was in a store, I kind of just kind of made connections, you know, made connections right. and just met him outside, you know, and sold him to him, you know? Gotcha. So, I mean, it was, I want to say just after that, I knew like, dang, I really want to do this. Got more knowledge in it, got more, you know, around people that really, you know, knew how to do it. And I was like, you know, this is something I like, you know? Do you remember your first pair of shoes you sold or no? First pair, school grade 12. Yeah, I also got the mesh out of it too. Did y'all ever camp out or no? Yeah, I was camping. Camp. Never camped out. Never, never camped out. You never went out to cream, bro. What was you doing? Never camped out. So what I did oh, was, was in the Navy. I was I in the I was in the military he's, he's and the yeah. <laughs> but no, like let me let me let me let me, you know, tell you. So I would go to work like around, you know, five thirty in the morning, get off around four, take military. that one hour, take take that one hour drive to, you know, Virginia Beach. Go to the sneaker store, get some knowledge. And then I just kept doing that. Kept doing that. Kept doing that. Getting knowledge in the shoes. Getting to know what's what's a Jordan 1, what's a Jordan 4, what's a Jordan 10, you know? Started doing that. And then after that. You didn't that, know that before? Didn't know that at all. Like I said, I, ne- I didn't well, have so the money you, to even be enough. around. So when you enough, got here enough. from Cali, you didn't know a Jordan 1 from a Jordan 10. Did not know. I was in the countryside of California. Bro, what? Facts. No, it makes all sense. they wore was boots. No, it makes sense. Because a lot of cities are like that so where like, they don't sell sneakers. So what did you grow wearing? Like style wise like vans i used to skate i used no to cap. skate i used to no it's vans like, i used to kind of like, like SE issue though. at knees it wasn't really like that i did like i did like uh you know vans i did vans i used to do nike 6.0s used to do nike no janelle's no none of the those the 6.0 rudders you ever wore nike shocks <laughs> <laughs> you feel me my mom had a pair i was like damn <laughs> yeah, nah. Get blessed. So, I mean, first job, was first job for you Navy or what? First job for me was actually Dollar General. And then when I left for the Navy, I didn't give the two weeks, so everybody was mad, but, you know, I made it up out of there. So only job, Dollar General? What did they have you doing at Dollar General? Dollar General, I was, like, stocking shelves, working register. 16 or you went in, like, for a late 17? You was getting money or 16? Uh, no, I've been getting money. I used to... I used to <laughs> I used to flip candy. I used to like sell little bag of chips at school. Yeah. Is your first hustle? Yeah. Oh yeah. Always been trying to get money. You ever sell the chocolate bar at your school? Never. For a dollar. I used to sell them chips on the bus. We never had that. Melted. That's fucked up. He was, a... <laughs> he was scheming on him. When I was doing it in school, we didn't have chocolate. We had like that big tub of frozen cookie dough. No, nah, we sold Frozen them shits too. Though. We sold them shits too. So we did That's chocolate bars and like, like I never did the cookie dough. I never sold them. I couldn't hold them in my hand. If I couldn't eat them myself, I couldn't sell it. Because remember, it used to be like a fundraiser. Yeah. Fundraiser. What was those like fundraisers even, even for? I think the school was keeping all that money for sure. Oh, yeah, for sure. Pocketed. For sure. It didn't. They say that it went to like the sports stuff. It went to all that stuff. But then the sports people were doing their own thing. You know what I mean? So they had I their mean, own fundraiser. They had their own fundraiser. They were getting paid other ways. You know, so they the school they invented the back door. They yeah. invented the back door. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Did y'all? Did you? Any of y'all play sports in high school? I know you play. You, you play ball, right? I was sleeping. You played. Sports, I no? never played sports. I was in agriculture. So I come on. They was teaching agriculture at your school for real. Oh yes, they. Like so the, I learned what is that club called? What's that club called? Country. It's like a FFA. Country. Yeah, they, you was FFA. in that. No, I was not in FFA. Okay. I was in. Bro, we had that shit at our school too. It's country shit. It's a country class, bro. It's a country class. Oh yeah, but I did. I did. I was, it was part of it, but I was in welding. So I learned how to yeah. weld at a young age. So it's like welding. What else is it, bro? You learned about like, livestock. I don't know, bro. So learn about weird, livestock. How to cut, like, so, how to cut shit. Did y'all learn how to sew and shit, too? Nah, there was a, that was a different club. That was arts and crafts, I believe. It was arts and crafts. Yeah, like, they would, you know, sew. They would, you like know, cooking. Cut. Cooking was something different. 
Cooking is something different. They called them in my school. It's called electives. Electives. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. So, I mean, my electives, I had, you know, the, the ag class, but I was on the welding side, you know. But I think it was like it was like livestock, planting, anything along, like, the industrial side of things. Y'all thought, um, you think, like, school influenced how y'all act today or not? Like, you um, feel me? Like, certain, I feel like certain coaches, you feel me, in basketball shit kind of. Yeah, push, push me to, like, have a certain mentality. You get what I'm saying? So, like, kind of how when I'm, like, leading the shop, I feel like it's kind of from, like, basketball coaches and yeah, stuff. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, how you do. that they instilled, like, Fuck. early in it's like, on your mind. Like, you always got to be good. You always got to be good. Like, you got to be good. You got to oh, yeah. to keep you going. Oh, yeah. Like, for me, it was, it was one of my teachers, my last teacher. He knew, that, like, I was, you know, getting distracted a lot, getting through everything, but he worked with me. So, to, to this day, I talk to him. Yeah. Talk to him, you know. He, That's far as it happened to you for, like, He right? told me. He told yeah. me. He was, like, don't ever give up so i just keep doing it keep doing it keep doing what it. what did he teach he taught he taught pretty much everything because at the like my what? last year my last year was pretty much <laughs> my <laughs> last home year home. was pretty much a home study so he would get all the work together and I'm, then i'll take it home and then i graduated like that you know what i mean you graduated heard, early so how it was is i was supposed to go to trade school i was supposed to go to trade school but then it it didn't work out you know, what happened? What out. happened? What happened? Give us some details, bro. So what happened was they told me, you know, okay, you could drop out of school. We'll get you your degree once you get over to this trade trade school. I'm right. supposed what to go type through. of degree, though? You get like a, some like trading degree or something. It's not so like it was good. I was going to be something. a chef. I was going to be a chef. But then come to find out, my slot got filled up. My slot got filled up. Happens. happens. And There's only a certain amount nobody of Nobody told me. That's, that shit's crazy. So I only had, only had a couple, you know, months to get back into school. So I got back into school. And the only thing that would really take me, because since I was so far behind, the only thing that would take me was the home study class. So I had to go to home study, so get all the work together, take it home, do it, bring it back. And then I graduated that way. But so you were supposed to go to trade school or? Either trade school or finish my first in high Cali? In, in Cali. But you were, but you were going to your trade. You all had trade school at your shit or no? Uh, we had like a, yeah. Like a, um, we had like a ETI type school, like electrical school to go to learn like computers for like the shipyard oh no we have no oh no 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 yeah like mechanics and stuff though mechanics and stuff yeah so what so like y'all would skip class halfway through the shit or what how does that work um yeah they would would go like half a day half a day type so mine so mine was different it was like a whole different building it was like a whole different building on the side of the actual high school it was like its own thing in the back for like continuation got you got you got you so, I mean, what, what do you think influenced you the most? Like, you think, what do you think? How I, you grew up, how your parents raised you, how teachers raised you, coaches, what? So, how, like, I was influenced by my grandpa. I was actually influenced by him. Like, he's just been working since, you know, very young age. He supported his household, like his mom and everything. He, he you know, he, he did what he had to do, you know, keep the food on the table. And that's just what really kind of influenced me. I kind of grew up without a dad, but I mean, you know, nothing that really, you know say on it you know but just my grandpa influenced me a lot i really have no idea what i'm going to at all for real no idea i'm trying to think about not it family. while we're sitting here not family i mean my dad he's got his own company and shit but i mean i guess it's kind of was like proving my love type shit, you feel me so it's like it's like i'm gonna do this shit too or like i'm gonna be great at this shit like I'm oh gonna yeah be nah, best nah. At this shit, we're bro. definitely trying to be the best that's <laughs> definitely the goal like we're not trying to do like i explained to y'all like about the whole team shit it's about like we're a championship team it's like lebron and shit no, that's what I'm gonna say. Influence me. I love how LeBron leads and does everything. Bro, I've watched him since a kid. You know, really and it's effortless, bro. Like it looks bro, effortless. Yes, like bro. never looks like he's straining, stressed out. Like Best you know what he's gonna do top. every time he comes to play. Like comes to the game. And he's always cool and cool, collect. You never see him getting out of hand in the media or anything. Mm-hmm. Like, he always just carries. None of that personal. Oh, yeah, that's, like that's that's a main, real thing. solid. That's hard that's to do. It's hard yeah. to do, especially when you have a lot of people coming at you from different angles. A lot of stress. A lot of stress. And, like, people are looking at you, and the people hate you for no reason. You can never have no reason to, like, look at hate. Facts, facts, facts. Not for sure. So, where were you getting all your inventory from when you first started reselling? So, when I was doing it is, I would just... So, how it was, when I started doing stickers, when I started doing stickers, I was like, okay. When I was doing stickers, I was like, okay, cool. Like, stickers, let me try something else. So I started doing the clothing. And then when I started doing the clothing, then I got my first pair of shoes, Beluga 2.0s, ended up flipping them. But how it was is I was working in another sneaker shop while I was in the Navy. What's your? It was uh, Soul Food. Soul Food, bro. 
that shit was the biggest game <laughs> ever. Oh, I yeah. just want to make oh, it yeah. known right now. Oh yeah. I I, <laughs> I would I pulled up there. There was no when I first moved there. There was nowhere to shop, so I pulled up to Soul Food. I think we actually met at Soul Food or something. Next oh, to yeah. Play-Doh. Next oh, yeah, to Play-Doh. I remember that. Next to Play-Doh. I remember so it's like yeah, 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 I was yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah, there really yeah, was yeah. nothing in there ever. It was you know it was he just disappeared. Story yeah hit. He disappeared. I came back from, I came back from a deployment, and everybody was like, "Where's my money? Where's my everything?" You know, Bro, but I mean, stuff happens. I've had people come into my store when I first opened and said I was so full and I owed them money. I'm like, Bro, what it? It was what so full? This is Sneakerville. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Made He's like, nah, you work on anything. I'm like, nah, bro. Like, what? I don't. I don't. I've never even met him. Maybe in the store, I met him. I don't know. Oh yeah. But yeah, but, yeah I was in there, and then I just you know kind of met people, and then it just took off from there. You know, I got. Got my inventory that way. Where was Exchange? So I moved down here in 2017. Where was, Exchange was still in Newport News? Exchange yeah, was in they Newport still, News. They were still across the water. Here? And that was the so only thing down here was so at the time in Commonwealth. Soul food, like, the like for real, for real, it was only and cream. Commonwealth, cream, yeah. cream, soul food, cream like Play-Doh's. Oh, yeah. We didn't really Especially have Especially MacArthur one. Especially MacArthur. Let's just say don't do releases down here. So. Don't do well, they used to both be busting. Like you can go to MacArthur and get it, and go to Cream and get it. But then they what started doing the other, like backdoor. You like that? Yeah, all that. I don't even know what happened. They say what backdoor? I don't know if it was our fault, as as we were uh, destroying the mine and smoking weed outside, <laughs> selling and, and and on the property, lighting fireworks off in the property, and people were just doing a bunch of dumb shit. Yeah. And leaving all the trash there at that too. That and people were that. coming from like Maryland, they <laughs> everywhere, New York. Yeah, I've only I've only been to Cream like. You missed handful out. Handful of bro. times. Like, bro, you missed handful out, of times. Bro. I didn't really know anything it was really, about it. It was really worth it, bro. Like A lot of people still try to pull that card on me when they come in the store, bro. I met you at Cream. I'm like, bro, I have no idea. Y'all, I was that Never like, the weird you. kid with the camera out at Cream. I was recording the line. Like, people were like, I had no idea who I am. They're like, what the fuck is this kid doing? But now look yeah. at you. Now look well, not at for you. sure. It definitely paid off, but Cream was a mean loop. We bro, could definitely loop it that's crazy literally how I, That's literally how I met him on the corner. He's like, bro, we're going to go into Five Guys. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy that's how it's gotta go though that's how it's gotta go i met a lot of people, people out of cream like, cream. like oh, a yeah. lot of my connect people just uh cream i mean when you sit in line with people all night it's kind of like you have to talk to yeah them. bro you're just gonna stare at each other all night make some good connections. or if someone sparks up something you kind of like hey yo <laughs> <laughs> so and just the far what do you think we do about like our line at the store because yeah. You know I got the letter. We can't do any type of line. We gotta do. We gotta do like raffle tickets. So what do we do? We give out wristbands. We tell them to meet us at Mount Rushmore and climb up the hill or some shit. Like, oh yeah, we yeah. really could do something like no, that. I mean, we got. Bro, no, we got it. What do we do? Wristbands, but they still wrist, line up. Wristbands. No, wristbands at another location. We don't do that. We don't do that at our location. Because yeah, you know Black Friday's coming up. We got Labor Day. I wanted to do a sale this Labor Day weekend. I don't know. Oh, I already know the this, line is gonna be around the it's buildings. Awesome. You gotta do something. Bait, buy one, get one fifty. I'm thinking. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. So you feel me? Parking lot flooded. That's what I'm saying. I don't know how we Cause do that. Are still gonna come stamps on your hand. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. So you gotta tell them go back to the car. What do you tell them? Yeah. You gotta be like, you have a ticket. Because like the landlord's actually upset. That, you gotta be like, like, you gotta give you a ticket to go back to the car until we have enough capacity. Oh yeah, like raffle ticket because security yeah. guards or something. Another security guard. Oh yeah. Line. Definitely, yeah, so definitely, because you know it's going to be packed. You know it's going to be packed. You already see how it is on, look at the five-year anniversary. There's a ton of people, ton of people. Imagine yeah, we when like you've like got a sale like that, you know what I mean? And yeah. I mean, if you do raffle tickets, it comes with two tickets. So you got one with a number on it, and you got the other one with the same number. Just keep one, give one, you know? So Stuff what like do we, that. do we set up like a, a black barricade thingy outside or something like that? Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like that little rope thing? Does that make sense? Yeah. Or maybe make a line like in front of our store only, like a zigzag so it doesn't go in front of Another any other point. stores? Yeah. Would that work? No. It's just not going to work, right? Like the people are just not. Because they, they can be like, it's the walkway. Bro. So it's just no win. The One of the biggest retailers can't have a line. Black Friday, I'm just thinking we're fucked. Christmas, fucked. Oh, yeah. It's definitely going to be busy. Like, there's no way I control definitely. a line. Out of control. There's out no way control. I control a line. Out of control. You feel me? Especially like two holidays like that. It's gonna be so many like people. That. Like people yeah. are become by themselves with kids, with their cousins. Like, what are you gonna tell them? And last minute back oh, to yeah. school stuff. What do you think is gonna sell the best? What do you think sells gonna the, best? Be think sells the best in the store right now? Cause I don't be in there all the time. I, I mean, I look at the numbers, but like, what do you really think sells the best? The thing that sells the best is dunks. 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 Over go clothing crazy. though. Dunks. No the, clothing. No gallery fly. Gallery's hot. Gallery hot fly. commodity because it's authentic. Gallery. They know it's authentic, and it's just yeah. like. 
they're coming for it. And I'm not yeah. taxing. I see if you go on like uh, Origins, say Origins NYC, it's in New York. Uh, gallery t shirts like 550, bro. I'm like, holy fuck. Wow. Bro. They're selling it like Chrome Hearts. That's insane. You feel me? That's insane. Chrome Hearts kind of fell off, I feel like. Yeah, it did. Yeah. No. I feel like the resell of it, though. Oh, yeah. yeah definitely. Because, like, I mean, it, it kind of just resells for. Retail. Like retail, so you guys think? Because retail is so high, they got like three T's the other day. Chrome March are like three fifty a pop, do, all brand new. Do y'all wear Chrome March? I, I think it's way too expensive. I, I do not. Don't wear it. I do not. I'm very simple like with it. Hoodie. Very simple with it. Just do a vintage tee, you know, a nice pair of pants and a shoe. I'm a gentle guy. I'm not too flashy. Who do you think influenced you the most, like uh, style wise? Ooh. Ooh. You feel me? People say like growing up, and I'm like. Like an ASAP Rocky type of guy. Do you think your style changed to like high school though? Definitely. Like as you got older? Definitely. Definitely. Definitely got away from like a lot of the colors. Like growing up, you might wear some wild shit, like different colors. But like nowadays, it's just like. I did like a pair of Dickies pants, a skate tee that probably had like a hole in it, and a That's pair of Vans. the same shit you're wearing right now. Oh, I used not to wear really. really. all the time too. Not really, yeah. yeah. No, I mean, kind of, it's like vintage vibes, right? That's what I'm saying. Like, kind of like skate vibes. Oh, yeah. 100%. So sense. I kind of, but like, I'm not trying to get at you. Oh yeah, no, no, no. You're okay. You're okay. So how like how it changed was like I just did the skateboard side of things. Just didn't have any Jordans on. Didn't have no Nike Dunks. Didn't have no SBs. Didn't have anything like that. So my style did change yeah. once I started seeing how other people. You know, I feel like the culture kind of just influenced me as a whole, like all aspects of it. You know yeah, what I mean? For sure that, yeah. But yeah, it changed. It changed over time. Once I could, once I could afford, you know nicer things for a better time so most you know? in influential for you like starting so you said like asap rocky who do, you, who do you think who do you look at you like damn this shit is always fire you feel me Ooh, Some people, always, not russell westbrook always on good right. always on ten. always oh that one's a I don't even tough know. one i don't i really don't know at all russell either like i just that. see right. i just see like something anything. that looks dope and i'm just like wow or like this you're like nice. a kid and you're like i want to be like that when i grow up and you see somebody you're like damn i want to dress like that you like that? Not really. Not no. really. I just kind of see how everybody kind of dresses, and I kind of put my twist on it and just go with how I feel comfortable, what really looks good. I like a baggy a baggy fit, and, I mean, I'll see somebody with kind of the same thing, but then I'll do something different. So I want to say, like, just mm, – it's a tough one. Just to kind of make, make it your unique – It's a very tough one. Very tough one. You know what I mean? Um, just – what about you? What about you, bro? You, um, you grew up. You were like, like yeah. I don't know. I used to want to be like uh, Ryan Sheckler when I was a jet. I can't lie. I used to skate, <laughs> want the Plan B board and all that shit, bro, like, wear the edges the and stuff like that. So that's why I was rocking the Element T. Yeah, you feel bro. Me? Watching all the skate videos and shit. Like I asked my mom for like Christmas shit, like get the skate videos and skating and shit. Oh, yeah, and then when you opened them up, you were hyped, huh? You were right, hyped. So yeah, I really fucked with the skate. That's what really got me in the shoes. It was skate first, and then it was like. Basketball, Nike basketball. Basketball and skate put me on. Like, so, I like the way. I mean, but like, style wise, I don't really know. I mean, like you said, it's kind of like just putting your own twist on things. I just like what I like. I don't know, bro. Yeah, just yeah. put it on. Just put it on. If you feel comfortable, just rock with it. But just rock with it. I'm all about being comfy, bro. I hate shit that looks good, but it's not comfy. Cozy boy. Cozy boy. Right, like, oh, yeah. Cozy boy. I, I kind of just go with whatever, you know, I feel good in. Yeah. What I feel good in, like, at first it was like, oh, what is somebody going to think about it? But then it was just yeah. like, you know what? Fuck. Okay. <laughs> so they always say to wear what uh wear what you think you could or some shit like that. So yeah, there's some sayings. Some people yeah, be like yeah, don't wear that. Be like go ahead and wear that, bro. Some okay. people in the shop be putting shit to that crazy. Oh yeah, I'm it's, like, yep. it's crazy. Today I seen something. I was like, wow, that's fire. That's fire. The dude that had those pants today, the tall oh, dude. Yeah. Those pants are fire. Dude, I do uh, not know the name. One of young crazies uh people came through, and he had on some pants. He had on some pants that were crazy. Yeah. He, yeah, Ace, Ace. Yeah, bro. Yeah, definitely. Big. He's definitely Big. Ace. His pants were crazy. I, was, I, was, I, walked, around, I walked around the side. I was like, I don't even know the name like, of them, but they had like, what are those? They have like was, stained glass on the side. It was, was like, like, what are those? He was like, he was like, thanks, bro. He was, I was like, thanks, bro. <laughs> what are those? Thanks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it was like you see you see a lot of stuff being in the store. You see a lot of stuff, and that's that kind of goes back to like you see somebody rocking something, and you're just like, wow. Should I could we, put this together. Should we carry jeans in the store? What do y'all think? Not gallery jeans. I do not see people spending fifteen hundred on gallery jeans. No, that's that's. Too people crazy. say to be putting that shit on, but when I get the gallery jeans. I guarantee they're sitting. Yeah, yeah, you know I mean? definitely, yeah, definitely. Because especially with all the, all the other stuff coming. Like, mm, do we get the purple? 
I know a lot of people Pearl, wear purple jeans. A lot of people are asking for them, but. Well, a lot of people ask for purple jeans, I swear. Oh, yeah. Bro, they come oh, yeah. in and they're like, mm, purple, y'all got We don't have purple? no bottoms. That's the whole problem. You get me? We got like we shorts. And they, and they, they be shorts. trying to put this shit on. Or sweats. Our sweats always go really quick. Oh, yeah. Sweats go quick. Especially yeah, with the season like, coming up. We, we got a huge uh, bait drop in coming for winter. Shark hoodies, all that cool stuff. You feel me? They also ask for like tracksuits. Definitely. They what else? For those. What okay. else should we get? Should we get like Palm Angels or Off White something back in like that? I used to do more palms. They were off-white. asking for they were asking for those. Yeah, like I don't know what that is. Needles. Yeah, like I've never yeah. heard of it. Never Needles heard of it. Go, See, they go for like new two brands. Hours. No, the new brand, the prolific shit went crazy in the store. I know. I, I was like, what, what, the like what the fuck? What the heck? Bro, bro, grab these. I'm gonna grab that too. I said, what? Someone brought three prolific hats today. Oh, oh yeah. One order, three and colors. Then, I said, what, bro? And the dude behind him was like, bro, let me buy one. He was like, nope, ninety. He was like, he was like eighty five. He was like ninety five. He walked out. I was like, damn. It went crazy. Went crazy. But I mean, Shut some up. brands that we should carry that people ask for, you know, it's like, I feel like Palm Angels kind of really, oh, oh. really, but needle, really retail is so high. Retail but gets so high. It's one of those things, just like yeah. Chrome Hearts, you know, retail is high. Nobody's but we do have, I don't know, I think select pieces we need to get in. You feel me? Just like them fire pieces. Oh, yeah. Like, a lot oh, more shit, sweats. A lot more price. sweats. Yeah. Really? A lot more sweats. Jackets. Jackets. You yeah, think uh, shorts is over with? Is it basically fall or what? Um, y'all still wearing shorts? I'm still wearing shorts. Couple more runs. Couple more runs. Couple more runs of couple shorts. More I'm run. Couple more runs. I need to be in Florida or something. You think uh, when should we open up Orlando store? I, ASAP. I, yeah. ASAP. You think, bro? It's cool. We supposed to open it when? End of the year. End of the year. It's fucking. How many months I got? Two and a half months. We're going to be able to make it? Yeah, two and a half. Airshow's supposed to be going down there. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm ready, bro. You're about to just move your whole life? I'm about to pack this shit up. Let's <laughs> go. They don't even know that. Okay, so I was on board just to move his whole life. <laughs> like, what? That is crazy. Bro, I got to, bro. Isn't for, it? For this, it's worth it. Got okay. you. Got you. Every Sneaker time. real global. Going global. Every we got to go into Orlando. Ow! Global boy. Ah, I just broke my thumb. Your finger. Look at this shit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. I'm proud as a bitch. Holy shit. Anyways, well, yeah, back to the Orlando store. Orlando. My goodness. End of the year. End of the year. We're going to be opening. We're hiring like sales associates down there. So if you're seeing this, any of my resellers down there, sales associates. But Please tap in. Please. Work under this guy right here. He's a good guy. Trusting him. You trusting him. We'll be a winning team. That's all we need. Guaranteed. We're going downtown with it. Our first like downtown store because we couldn't do town center because of Nike. Yeah. So this will be like our first downtown vibe with club around the store so i don't know how that goes should we start doing like late night stay open type oh yeah do like a lot of stuff like that and i feel like there's a lot of people that you know got money out there so do like vip stuff like me and you talked before like right. alcoholic beverages something like that for if you if you pay the price you get be treated fire, right, bro. bro you get sh- serve champagne or something like louis vuitton store oh yeah we gotta be on those vibes luxury, be on luxury those vibes. Vibes. They want that. it's gonna and be my, just up all the prices again it's gonna be in florida <laughs> It's gonna be in Florida, like it's like white five hundred. Oh yeah, and it's still gonna go. But you get a glass of champagne, it's gonna be fucked up by the time. So you paying that? You oh that? yeah, bust it up. You might even bring you a little sandwich out the back, a little like cheese and crackers or something. <laughs> Slicing a nice chocolate. very little <laughs> <laughs> No sneakerville crackers. It should be fun. You think uh, like uh, smoothie or some shit? We're working at sneaker shop. You know how Kith does like ice cream and stuff. Oh yeah, I've same always thing. thought about that. Oh yeah, same thing with like you know Commonwealth just has their little drinks right down there. You know? I've counter. never seen no one buy nothing from that. It was but popping I feel at like first. At first it was popping, but then it took a dip. They Commonwealth, if you're watching this, I want the building. Just let me buy you out. Go ahead. I, I feel know like, they got other stores that do very well. So. Oh yeah, I feel like I feel Let's like if we did oh, something like no, Sneakerville treats, like yeah. <laughs> wow. That's sick. Can never be in town center probably ever because of Nike. Nike. Yeah. And they just got there, bro. That's right. Yeah. Talk with the landlord. So I had a huge building on the corner. So Nike was like right here. Like on the corner over here, kind of like facing the outside of town center, but still a good location. Landlord was like, "Yeah, Nike has where you can't be in a certain amount of miles and open anything similar." So same with Orlando, they got trophy room down there. I called about a building, trophy room is down there. Can't be close to them either. Oh. So that that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do in my store actually. Next next store open, I'm getting that same whatever type of wording they got in their contract. No shoe store near me. That's yeah. fuck them. Yeah. Sense. That's that makes right. sense like that. I mean, yeah. if all these other companies are pulling, why can't? Yeah, bro, you gotta stay your ground. You gotta stay your ground too. Yeah, hundred percent. Really? Yeah. Because I mean, if if 
For one, you don't want any competition around. You no, it's not even that. It's just um, it's basically pointless to put two sneaker stores beside each other. Like, it doesn't even make sense. Yeah. On why would you even approve a fucking another sneaker store right down the block? From yeah, hundred percent. I agree. Because then you're gonna have your customers going to somebody else, and just vice versa. You know, and it'll just be problems. It just needs. Uh, I feel like the landlord and the business relationship. Everyone should always be on the same page as far as far as like growing the company. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And like the respect, idea, so like the respect of it all. Yeah. So when I came into the whole hilltop situation, I mean, they were cool with lines. I mean, they were totally on board with the brand, but obviously through whatever happened, um, kind of yeah. switched. But uh, we're working with it, but just on board completely. Maybe have that in the lease. So any sneaker, if you're trying to open a store, make sure you get it in the lease that you, you can have lines. You can do this type of stuff. All this shit is not going to be a problem. It's truly a headache. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah, hundred percent. Like, that's why I fuck with more downtown vibes. They just let drunk people walk around the street, so I know Ooh. they're not worried about no line. You feel me? There's yeah. drunk people every night just roaming around, Bigger fish smashing surprise. shit, Bigger making fish noises. Yeah. And all they know is just okay. If we put the cops there and higher security, then shit doesn't happen. That's how life works. That's how it is in the oceanfront too. Simple, like you see bro. cops going right. up and down, exactly. up and down. You know, cops everywhere. I mean, like it goes back to like the drunk people, like they're, you know, smashing stuff, making noises. You know, just. Doing everything and everybody just looks at it like, oh, okay. You Virginia Beach I mean? is kind of hot, I feel like. Oh, yeah. Bro, Virginia 100%. Beach is super hot. I've never been pulled over knock on wood in Virginia Beach. I got pulled over all shit. I really got to knock on wood. Superstition. But, anyways, <laughs> fucking never been. I got pulled over in Norfolk one time. I was out. I don't even know where I was at. This was like when I first moved down here. Yeah. I was just buying some shoes like late night. Obviously, they thought I was picking up drugs or something. I'm, li- I'm in my old school Mazda type shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> all blacked out. I got pulled over. They're like, they made me hand the shoes out the window. They were like checking them with the flashlight. I'm like, bro, like, what the fuck? That's the only time I've been pulled over in North. No, but they're worse than out here. They'll get me for anything. Yeah, I got pulled over once. I, they hit me with reckless driving. You look like you would drive stuff. reckless in. Uh, he was going crazy. He was going crazy using a school zone or something. I got places to be. People to see. <laughs> nah, fucking. Uh, remember when they used to go crazy about the tents? I feel like that was a huge problem. It used to be always everyone was like. You get pulled over for tents every day. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Too, they're too dark. You ever they, got pulled over for tents? I have, actually. I have, and what they said... What's the point of even pulling someone over for that? They pulled out the little tester, put it on the window, yeah. told me I had to roll it up a certain amount, right. did it, had to go to court, you know, got it and dismissed. Like all the drug dealers used to be out here, like, back in the day, like, 2010, 2012, like, all those back in the day, and they always had, like, the dark tents. So, like, uh, they should just, like, surprise them and pull up on them with the light. Bro, so... <laughs> What do you guys think influenced y'all most to like come join the sneaker club scene? Ooh, deep question. I, um, why? Why did you want to come join sneaker club? It's because I've known I've known you for a while, and I just like how you move, how oh, you okay. handle stuff, how you, you know, how you deal with the stress. And like I've told you Fox. before, it's like I see the stuff that you deal with. Like I right. feel the stuff that you deal with that I don't see. If that makes any sense. For sure. Just like how you move. What about you? Yeah, bro? like I've been around you. I've been around round two. I grew yeah. up in Virginia. Like I've been to Exchange. I've been to a lot of stores out here, and I re- came up recently. But like coming back to like my childhood and what I really want to do, this is like the closest thing to like what I could do personally. And like we already have that relationship. I'm telling you, we're already doing this, yeah. we're already doing that. And like it's the most home feeling. And like when it comes to it all, like I want to win, y'all want to win. It feels like the right thing. Facts, bro. It's so fire. Just it's kind of like really like a dream job though, because like so like. I mean, if you actually like love the culture and like love the community, yeah. it feels so easy. Yeah. For but real. if you don't, that's when it feels hard because I don't know. People just get caught up. It is. I feel. I don't know. How do you think it's super fast paced in there? I mean, I feel like kind of is where you gotta go slow at the same time. It gets it gets super busy, and like I said, I manage it, so it's like I have to go to one thing, look over the other thing, and then you know is I still tough? have to listen. It's kind of tough, but since I was in the military, I kind of dealt with it. So I kind of have experience with dealing with a lot of stuff. You know what I mean? And like when I help you out, okay, so it's like, it's like you're willing to learn. You're willing to learn. And it's like, I'm willing to help you out. You know? So, I mean, it's just all around. Like, I mean, it's, it's pretty busy, but like I said, military background gave me the experience to deal with a lot of stuff at one time. You ever feel like it's overwhelming? No, no, no. Cause I, I came up in the full locker. Like I came up. And I was working in there. Like, like I was hell on releases. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I used to be in there on Black Friday. I was in there on Black Friday back in the day. They were like, are you the, are you the manager? I was like, no, no, no. I'm just running these shoes. Right. Like, it gets hectic, bro. But, like, if I can do that in there on any holiday, bro, like, this is crazy. 
See nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Is Foot Locker kind of like uh, Sneakerville or no no uh, correlation at all? How we run things? Very different. No, nope. I would so say I've never very worked at Foot Locker. Different. I applied there, believe it or not, multiple times. No, nope. they never wanted to. Come no and correlation. Do not, not work for it. the company. Do not work for them. Because I had to work at Paxton at one point. You Foot Locker wouldn't hire me. Foot Locker, bro, you would be working for like seven dollars an hour. That would have been perfect. No, 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 shoes, no, com- no, no, com- com- no commission, bro. Like none. Oh, I have yeah. to sell like thirty shoes to make like ten dollars. Wow. That's fucked up. That's terrible. Do you all That's feel terrible. like there's pressure <laughs> being on the team? Pressure being on the team? Oh no. Like um, pressure to perform, pressure to hit certain goals that I set, or no? I feel like the pressure that I get is to make me better. It's not to downgrade you or make you feel Fox, right, right, right. bad. You know, every to me, I take pressure differently. I feel like pressure is what makes you better. Pressure makes time is what Literally. it's like. Right? Exactly. Literally. Exactly. That's how I feel. So yeah, like pressure, I mean it it builds character. Fuck. Builds character, you know. So no pressure to perform at all? No. You don't think if I we have a bad day, I'm gonna be like, fuck. You might, but then it's just <laughs> like if, if if it's a bad day, if it's a bad day and it's just like dang. Why do the days be bad? I feel like weather one. That's that's one factor that factors into sales. Very. Weather, bro. Yeah, people are coming out when it's or like what out else? We, ooh, I would say another thing is if we don't have their size, yeah. we don't have their size because like, we get you know we deal with the DMs all day and they're like, fuck. do you have this size? And they just don't really want to take that drive to come and see right. like well, we maybe you got something app. else in the size. Even though we have the app, even though we have the app and they can check. It's got but sometimes it yeah. just, got it just goes over. It just goes over. We have everything. If you guys want to know, I promise you, we have everything in order. We take we take a lot of pride in our inventory and how we do it. So everything on the app is what we have in store. If it says it's sold out and it shows on your phone or on the website that it's sold out, it means it's not in the store. We promise you, it's not in the back. It's not in some <laughs> secret vault we have. It's going to be on the website. Yes. Even the incoming inventory is on the website as well. It says incoming beside it. Oh yeah. Oh so, yeah. So if uh, you. If you see something like that, and especially when it comes back to the steals, I've had so many people come. The steals stores, are like, sold instantly. Where oh, are the crazy. steals like at? This. It's like, got to be seconds. here quick. Like, it's happened a lot. You know, I've had you people be come here. in. I've had people come in like, yo, do you guys still have this? <laughs> it's like, nah, just sold. They're like, it's only been up for one minute. I'm telling you, it's worse than like, bro, Instagram. guarantee you it's gone. It's just because of the brand we built. I feel like we just built a brand differently. I mean, we have like, what, 15,000 app users right now. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it's kind of Oh, like, yeah. Plus, you got the VIP. Right. Plus, you got everything. So the I VIP guess. just hit a K. Wow. And they're all eating. Wow. Eating. I'm about to make it private, Good though. Stuff. I'm about to go private. Uh, how many subscribers? No, I'm about to go. I think I just hit 1,000 followers. Just go private and then make every person that follows be a member. Just so. so. Yeah, bro. It's oh, a yeah. marketing play. Marketing play. You feel me? Oh, yeah. Good, good, good. They're all making their money off of the first play. As soon as they, as soon as they make their first purchase, they're all making 100 does it even make sense when y'all packaging your orders and you see some of the shit what the prices are? Oh yeah, some of them. I was like, <laughs> I, like, bro, I was like, what the heck? You should pick up your phone. You'd be like, what is going on? It's definitely real, right? <laughs> VIP, one dollar shoes, seven dollar fifty seven. Was real. what was it today that lightning, we saw? Lightning, I was lightning like, five. What the heck? Lightning four. Lightning four. Oh, it was the uh, what was it? It was the yellow toes for retail. They're not even out yet. Girl. Not even out yet. It's real deal steals. You so have I mean, bought one. Thirty five dollars a month. We're about to up at the 50, though. It pays off. Sorry, Trust man. me, it pays off. Like, when I see it, I'm just like, why? Like, why? You might as well buy a membership. I think you're allowed to. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I might. As far as you're having. Ahead. I mean, you're basically at work there when it drops. It's happening. I'm like, I need Saturday off or something. <laughs> when it drops. Oh, yeah. Only need, definitely, only need an hour. Definitely, definitely good. Like, to be a VIP member. You but. get so many steals. And, like, with me seeing everything that's going to be put out on the steals, it's like, Wow. Where do you think love this. the sneaker culture is going? You think it's going? I feel like certain shit is really hanking. Yellow Toes is like fucking fuck. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. They, I just don't think they've been dropping shoes at the right time. Like it's kind of been like they drop it after they're supposed to or too early. Just people like we just were don't talking about yesterday. It. Don't appreciate it as much. Like they drop the stuff at wrong times. Like what was it yesterday? It was one of the shoes. The citruses? I think so. Yeah, citrus when it was supposed to drop with a pair of what was the other pair that it was supposed to drop with? It was wasn't it with the taxis. Was it the taxis? I don't remember, but I remember we were talking about it. They just drop one shoe and then they should drop another shoe at the same it's time. Hard. Then it was just like they like waited together? too long. Yeah. Bro, why yeah. are they not doing packs anymore um, and making cool shit like that? That's what I'm Any, saying. Like a holiday like, pack. What's the last pack we got? I'm saying like the meanings aren't there no more. Like we used to have like a whole real culture when it came to that. And like, and then I feel like not. it's just dropping stuff that they're going to think is hot. And then it's just 
there's no resale value on anything anymore. It's, it's just, just like outsourcing. Retail. Like the only thing we retail. get a message for is our mom and ears. I feel like that's the only, I mean, what's the last shoe that has a message behind it? Ooh, that one's a tough one for real. Yeah. The I'm, I'm an ear, like a I'm, any I'm an ear that came out, it has some cool. I don't even know what it says on the back. I know, I know their eyelids say like this: work harder, work yeah. harder. And nope. then on the back is a little message from in the mom's handwriting. Oh, I do oh. not remember what. What, it, what it is says. the whole message behind that? Just uh, someone died from some type of illness. Or I something, do not or know what the whole message is behind it, but I know, you know? that like, like my has way. to do something with his mom. Gotcha, I gotcha. Say. But I mean, it's. We really haven't had anything that really tells a story. It's like, come know? this way. It's like, come this way to like his mom. Or what do you think? Uh, let's see right here. Got it right here. I'm, I'm in here. Shoe. Mm. It's also the first Jordan that his mother bought him growing up. Oh. Raised by a woman. Inspired by Whitner's mother purchasing a sneaker for him at the young age. The three was the first Jordan that my mother ever bought for me and my brothers. That's really it. It's stuck in his mind. That's it. So shout out to his mom for inspiring that Jordan three. He did, great, did a great piece. job. One of the I hardest Jordan three ever with the quilted interior. Wow. Wow. Oh yeah. What, what is shoe of the year for this year? Um, everything shit. I like the off white green sparks, but I, a lot of people I, I posted out in a comment. Someone tweaked out said this is not the shoe of the year. You're crazy. I'm like, They're capped out. I want to say there's. It's what else is it? There's kind of I want to say there's three shoes of the year. It's kind no, of hard. There's no, there's one shoe of the year. Bro. One, bro. <laughs> just like there's only one goat. It's only one. There's yeah. only like only LeBron James one. said. There's only one spot. Mm. It'll be number two, but that one's that one's a one. tough one. I'm I'm surprised the military blacks did good. That's not no. That is no, not no, no. Sure. I'm not saying that's, that's, that's not the shoe of the year. Someone told me that. Was that you that told me that? It was not me. Someone told else told me that military black forward shoe of the year. I said, bro, what is this? A fucking ZR that just went up in price. You feel me? Yeah, but I mean, everybody wants it and stuff. Um, that would be a tough one. Shoe of the year. Shoe yeah. of the year. That one is tough. I'm, I'm with him. Sport. I'm with him. Because it's always oh, white. Sport. I want to say sport. yeah. I'll go with that one. Because military black is just like so neutral, bro. Like they're supposed to drop the military blue for it. Yeah, like military True. black. True. Mm. Ooh, the off-white military wow. fours are so hard. Are you talking about the bread colorway? Yeah. Blue. The the military. weren't the weren't the off-white bread fours supposed to be a skateboard shoe? I don't even know. Isn't Bert that what they did the video ideas. in them? They yeah. did the video in the in the four skating. Yeah, I think I thought it was supposed to be like a like a skateboarding Jordan. Blue. That's why it's like it was thinner on the outside. Yeah, yeah it was he's a, gonna make it kind of like he did the five. The same material. All his shoes is crazy. But yeah, I'll probably agree with the green strikes. You're going with the green strike show of the year? Yeah. So sneaker culture up or down, where do you think it's going? What do, what do they need to do? I don't know. Make um, meaningful releases. Some meaningful more fire, releases. Some more collab. Collab with someone new. Let's see something new. Oh, yeah. Collabs with re- something re- new. Just like collabing like with the same people over and over again and over and over and over and over and over. Because, I mean, right now, it's like a new it's a new era in the game. They need some new faces, new. Right so, now, I mean. new in the game, though? Right now, Give I me think a it's going to be. Right now, I want to say no New Balance is doing the most collabs right now. And then she's just all weak as hell. I'm oh, yeah. All new the Balance same the color. Same color. Same everything. Same tear. That's who's doing same face. I'm saying. I'm saying if Jordan did more collabs, then they'll probably do more like more stuff, like more more heat. But right now, I feel like New Balance has all the collabs, so I agree with what you said about you know Jordan should do more collabs. Is Kanye gonna go back to Nike or what do you think? Ooh, yes. Ooh, I feel he's like jumping he with the jump man. Going crazy. We need like a new Yeezy. It's time. Yeah, he will go through the moon. I promise. He's what would he back. make though? Shit would probably be. T- I don't know how. I don't know what he would make. A runner or something more like a. A fat trainer, kind of like his first uh, a crossover. Like a crossover. I don't like know what. Probably like a trainer. It would. They, I they love the. Not. They love the boot with Nike. I think Nike would make a better boot than like a. Kind of yeah. like a Red October. Maybe, maybe like a re-release Red October. Oh yeah. Do you think they'll ever do it? Yeah. Ever re-release no. any of the if, if he signs, if he signs, if yes. he signs for sure, right? Maybe. Who is the new? Does anyone know the new Louis Vuitton creative director after Virgil passed? They already named someone new, or what did they do? Um, I do not they, know at this moment. I think they did. It took like a, almost like six months. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, That's something I want to do eventually. One, be a creative director for some type of big brand. That should be so fun. Oh, yeah. 100%. You feel me? 100%. If possible. They create a whole wave. You can create a whole new wave like across. I mean, like, it's just putting your touch. World. 
You feel me? That's all you're doing. And you're working with other people that already know what they're doing. Like, some yeah. of the best in the world, some of the I best mean, resources. Yeah, that's like that would be the so, that's like nice. exciting part. So I feel like, let's see. Louis Vuitton, Martine Rose, Martini, Martine. Hmm. Um, hmm. Who knows? Who knows? I don't know who that is. Some woman. That's cool. They went with a woman. Oh yeah, changed it up. Changed it up. What do you think about uh, the whole process of getting the Air Force Louis Vuitton shirts? It's kind of fucked how you had to be a VIP client, or you think that's good that they limited it to just VIP clients getting the shoe? I think that's cool. I think that's cool that they keep it to their people. Like it okay. should, it should kind of should be like that. It's not like they're back door and back door and telling you you're not getting them. It's like straight up front. Like you already yeah, know what it is. VIP client or not? Yeah, I mean, I feel like that one is a good, a good thing. Because everything is not meant for everyone to have. And that's like something sentimental, I feel. You think something like that with selling a store is more like at an event type of vibe? I feel like I feel like if you're if it's in a store, it would be a display piece. Unless right. somebody really wants it. You know, but at an event, I mean you've got tons of money. Like Tons of money, we, big we, ballers. We've we yeah. seen a few. We've seen a few. Big ballers at events. Well, unless you're like in a bigger city, then so you might need yeah, a, yeah, me. It might need a couple bangers like that because you have bigger faces, bigger, bigger amounts of money coming through. Yeah. Virginia Beach is small, very small compared to other cities. When like, it comes no to like having celebrities and like and all that celebrity. type of stuff, like we don't have any of that. Anything yeah, like that. yeah, bro, bro, bro doesn't even fuck with us anymore. Like, he don't, even, he don't be out here like Pusha be out here more than him. But. Everyone be this city be doing the people dirty. Yeah. You go to another city, they praise you for doing what Pharrell did up and down. You feel me? Like here's the keys to the city. I, I don't hear know, did they give him the keys of the city ever? I don't know. Probably. Yeah, I probably. They probably did. You think we should do more events? Like, as uh, you see what Exchange is doing? I mean, like, as far as tables? Um, I've yeah. Never went yeah. What I was thinking, so, with Orlando Sneaker Convention, damn, I'm going to put my ID out here, but fuck it. Damn. But <laughs> we're just going to be the official sneaker buyers of the Orlando Sneaker Convention. I'm not going to disclose any prices, but that's what we're going to do. So, if anyone wants to go down to Orlando for the shit, we're going to be the official buyers. Wow. So I'm really cool with the dude. We went out there before and just cool with anything. Went out club, all that stuff. So it's no, he's looking out. You think that's a good idea? Oh yeah, hundred percent. Good or connections. Should you sell stuff or no? Should we sell stuff there or no? Um, I feel like how me and when when me and you went to SneakerCon DC, like have a table to set stuff if we do buy stuff, you know. Do so they have a certain buy amount stuff, that we can sell stuff. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. The official yeah. buying table. Banger, yeah, yeah, couple, just a couple bangers. And I mean, if if we sell, we sell. Right, uh-huh. just start being their official buyer. No tables to be the official buyer of that event. Right, we'll good idea. We'll eat it. Oh yeah, plus a lot of, lot of money is gonna be. Have our own events. Out. Um yeah, hundred percent. Virginia Beach first or no? Mm-hmm. Like yeah. Mm-hmm. If we can have a, a, a good miss. amount of vendors come. Virginia Beach first. Should we pay homage to the city? I mean, it's possible. We could do it. I mean, yeah. people are, people have been asking about it. Oh yeah, we've Fuck. got a ton of people coming in the store. Like, oh, when's the event? When's the Facts, event? Facts, I dig. I, I like a. I explain. We got fucked on that whole situation, so we will be having it soon. But just the logistics didn't work out too much. Of yeah. Oh yeah. That's really all for the podcast. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, we're looking for guests. If you guys have any recommendations, go ahead, drop them in the comments. Um, obviously, these guys work for me, part of the team. We're looking for anyone y'all can recommend. Whoever. We're gonna talk about anything and everything. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. You enjoy it, like, comment, subscribe, do all that cool stuff. And I'm going to catch y'all later. Appreciate you, bro. Good shit. That was a good one.